golf swing, it's more about pivot points and where we're trying to make them happen. And when you start back, as soon as the club head gets further away from the target line than your hands, that would be a pivot point. Now when you get to the top and you come back down, also the point where the club gets closer to the ball than your hands, that becomes the pivot point. Then you run into the ball, then the other pivot point is on the follow through side. Where does the club head go further away from the target line than your hands are? The one pivot point is right there or my left arm gets parallel to the ground, the club head starts to go behind my hands. On the downswing then, as my hands come down towards that point, the club head then is back in line with my hands about the time my left arm is parallel to the ground and then it works out in front. And then as I go over here, right about in there, when my right arm is parallel to the ground, that club head now is even with, and the next move, it's further away from the target line than my hands. So we have these pivot points, one, two, and three. Let's talk about especially this pivot point coming down. Your hands from the top have to immediately start coming down and you have to direct the momentum of the club which you feel is out in front of your hands. A mistake most people make, the over the top. When you twist your body, a big mistake with the pivot point is to hold it off. If you get here and then you pull the handle and you hold this all the way into here as far as you can go and then try to catch it up. Going back, you want the club head to stay outside your hands at least until your hands get waist high. And then the club pivots and it goes behind your hands. When you come down, your hands come straight down and the club works out in front of you this way. Now this pivot has nothing to do with unhinging your wrist. Most people do. When you get to the top, when you start down, what you're trying to do is you're unhinging your wrist to work the club out this way. See, this doesn't square the face. You have to rotate your forearms to square the face or rotate your body. You can't just unhinge your wrists. Is the grip end of the club is coming down and the club head is going out. My wrists don't do anything. That angle's staying there and I'm just rotating the handle down and the heel of the club out. So from this angle, it looks like this. So what does that look like? It's a lot of lag. But see, this kind of lag is very different than this one. Now if I do the same lag, even more of it, but I'm doing it back in here, you see I've still got all this time to catch the face up.